Pisces, Aries, to your March 23rd through the 26th reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. We have the <clears throat> reflection coming through. Spirit is making you understand over here. We are using the Akashic deck over here, guys. Akashic Tarot. Ooh, digging deep over here with a 19. Uh, this 19 over here is making sure that you understand that it is time now to dig deep within reflection. Anything that may be confusing you or keeping you in some kind of imbalance, ooh, imbalance, <laughs> um, is now time to take a deeper look at the situation. This card is showing up sometimes also as a trip. So if you know that you're getting ready for a trip, and it can also be a new cycle change as well as you feel like you are uploading um, into something different, having a cycle change as we see um, this over here, this 20, the one meaning the new beginning for the nine letting go. But it can also be the 20, right? Which also is talking about that balance, patient, moderation. Um, <clears throat> might even be taking a trip over water. So you may need to reflect, pause, relax. But for the majority of you, it's definitely, I'm really feeling that um, it is getting in direct line with your psychic gifts or trying to um, get yourself balanced out of confusion, anxiety, reflecting upon the new things that are coming in to your world, right? Because you have this birth card over here telling me that you are taking on a rebirth. You are taking on a cycle change, getting yourself stable within yourself so that you can have better stability within a relationship, um, money, career, everything that you're looking at needs to be balanced, right? That way you can get the better um, rewards for everything, just everything, right? Um, so if you have any kind of emotional compulsions, you, you know, you need to look and see how that's going. Is it lowering your, you know, your um, self-esteem? Is it lowering your um, emotional basis, your overall positive outlook towards things? There could be things going around you that just feels like they're kind of controlling your emotions as we see all the water over here. And now you need to let those things go. You right, for meditation, psychic development, counseling, healing, um, anything like this, right, and allow yourself to really open yourself up and be receptive to the higher trust and the higher understandings um, which are being guided towards you as you're getting ready for this beautiful rebirth. Wow. So looking really deep within the situation, where it is I'm going, what am I manifesting, Right. We just had the new moon. Some of you might have just did a lot of manifestation, uh, manifesting and law and attracting, praying, however it is, um, and really looking for these rewards. Um, so right now we have a four again. So we have four, four. Wow. Now really talking about being stable, clearing the way. And that's what it's talking about, reflective. It's time to clear away those energies, things that are no longer needed, getting ready. It's almost like the universe is setting you up for a new way of thinking. It's kind of like an upgrade. I'm not the old person I used to be. I am now this new person with new ideas, new things, wanting new things. So you need to clear away the old um, habits, old way of thinking, things that keep you stuck, um, keep you in anxiety, so that you can allow the new to come in, right? And this will balance the situation within yourself, really balancing yourself with the seven over here so that you allow the divine interventions and the divine things to come to you so you can have the things that you're really manifesting and really making room for them, right? You want to make room for these new, big, exciting ideas, right? If I'm holding on to this clutter over here, I don't have any room, right, for growth. I don't have any room. So make sure that you are making room by getting rid of old ideas, Right. You don't want to hold on to limiting beliefs um, that are not making way for new beliefs. If, I, if you tell yourself, I can't make these leaps of faith, if I can't make these new steps, um, guys, and that means you're not making way for the new to come in. Right. So it's a time for, you know, new negotiations with yourself, with other people, exciting developments happening around you making new time, being more flexible for new things to come into your life. You could say, I really want love, but I don't think I have time to date. Okay, well, Spirit says, no, 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 no. You make time, time management, right? So it's going to be this new productive energy that's inspiring you to build more stability 
and more material wealth into your life. Get the fours over here. Oh my gosh, I love that. So let's clarify over here on the rebirth. Absolutely having the sun coming in. And yes, it's talking about soul energy over here. The sun is the soul. It's talking about new positive planning, new pleasures, new happiness, celebrating. You might even have a celebration to go to, right? A birthday party, um, success, rebirth is all yours. And it's crazy is the rebirth card on the rebirth is telling you make room for new things. Make yourself available. Have the flexibility and the availability to receive. Right? If your heart chakra is down, you, you're not allowing yourself to receive, right? Don't have too many barriers. Clearing the way for the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So all of this abundance, because a lot of you have been manifesting this for the new opportunities, the new career, the new financial opportunities, new ventures. Like I said, some of you might even want to go on a vacation, go on a cruise, travel across the land, right? Bringing in the prosperity. And Spirit says, I have this gift for you. Oh my gosh, right? But I need you to what? Be balanced. I need you to keep yourself balanced. Weigh your pros and, and cons. And this is a card of also what? Time management. Managing your priorities so that you can have fun, so that you can be receptive to, you know, allow all of this beautiful things to come through because they want to give this to you. And this is probably why you're, yeah, feeling weighed down. I don't understand what's going on. My life feels upside down. I feel like I'm putting in all the hard work. Where's the rewards? Oh, they're on their way. They're on their way. It's just that they're looking for you to take on a different responsibility. Drop some of these other wands so that you allow what? Room. Allowing yourself room. And yes, for some of you, it could just be emotional room. If you're imbalanced and you don't have the compassion and you don't have, you know, yourself supporting your own manifestations, you're going to have a problem. Because you're not allowing yourself to have these things for some of you. Right? So you're saying, make room. Let's go. So on the balance over here. Wow. Letting go of something that no longer serves you so you make some room. And like I said, a lot of it is just energy. That would be, you know, making sure that you're staying optimistic. Changing your mood. Open your mind. You know? See things for what they are. So a lot of it is just more productive energy. Wow. Look at that. On the balance, it says that there's going to be a speedy upgrade coming towards you. Some kind of rapid action that's going to be taking place towards you. And it could be from this Queen of Swords. Wow. And this is also talking about you cutting it, you know, cutting out the boundaries. Finding the clear boundaries. Finding clear communication within yourself as you have this new message. This new yeah, it feels like a new news coming in. And there's that travel again. Making quick decisions. Because it feels like, yeah, look at that. You're manifesting and your manifestation is coming in quickly. It wants to be there quickly. It's like, hey, you know what? I'm ready. I've got this reward for you. Big, exciting news. It could even be new, big, exciting ideas from this person as well as they're throwing these things at you. I feel like this... This Gemini, Aquarius, or this Libra has this big news. Wow. And for some of you, it's very passionate. They're going to hit this passion zone of you. You're going to say, hey, I know that you want this passionate, passionate achievement. Keep yourself, a bit, uh, you know, um, balanced, excuse me, because you're going to be really busy. <laughs> or you're going to be busy. So it does feel like whoever's coming in also could be a Sagittarius, Aquarius, or a Leo. Could even be a little impulsive. Because it feels like whatever message is coming in for job, career, whatever it is, it's like it hit the universe. The universe is saying, get ready for it. And I feel like a lot of you have been manifesting on this, not just this new moon, but the last new moon. And maybe every day you're doing a mantra, right? You're like, please, God, please, please, God, please, right? Doing your own mantras. So, yes, this is an inspiring time to be productive. And it's like the more that you're productive and the more that you make room for this to come through, bam, here comes this unexpected gift. Boy, is it coming towards you. And it's coming towards you fast with the six. Man, a lot of sixes. <clears throat> so, yeah, and here you go. Making this transition, making this change, leaving behind that energy that no longer serves you so that you can, you know, move into this new area of your life. If you know that it's real baggage... Right? And you need to release a real person, you know, um, 
place or thing, right, then it's time. But you'll know it's time then. Because as soon as you get this message, you're going to be like, oh my God, that's it then. I'm done. Because it's almost like you're going to work on it and kind of work on it through the week, guys, you know, and you're really trying your hardest to juggle. You're juggling, you're juggling stuff around. That's for sure. You're juggling hard. Like I said, whether it's just energy or people, places, things. Um, but I'm telling you, as soon as this comes through, this is going to allow you, uh, you're going to make a huge, huge kind of sacrifice over here. Right. And for some of you, it's this new love. You might be, you know, trying to get to this love. Um, but whatever it is, it's going to open up your heart chakra over here and you're going to feel stable because this this communication that's coming in is kind of like whether it's a new job, a new person or we're going on this vacation. You know, whatever it is that you're trying to do, it's going to be like it's handled with care. Right. Don't worry about your vacation package, they say. It's handled with care. I got your rental car. I got your hotel. I got everything that you need. If you're going on a cruise, it's like, don't worry about it. We got you. Right? So it just depends on how big it is and how small it is. Right? Because you could be manifesting the smallest thing. It might even be, hey, you know what? You're working on my car. I hope you're doing a good job. You know, handling it with care. <clears throat> so... You're definitely going to find that you have these, you know, this new romantic partner that you're going to be eager to want to experiment all these beautiful things with this person as they're rushing into you. Or a new career that is, you know, on that level of what you've been looking for. It could be a creative endeavor and they're finally going to give you that opportunity to let your band play at this bar. You know, however it is. And maybe you have to travel for it. Maybe you're trying to get travel arrangements on that too. It's okay, sir. We got the we got the whole band in the hotel. Everything's fine and handy to go. Right? So, oh my gosh, I love this reading. Oh my God, you have the two of cups. Some of you might know that this is a soulmate connection that you're trying to do. It is definitely soul worthy, whatever you're trying to do. It is definitely what they're saying is it's balanced to your soul's mission. It's balanced to your destiny. It's balanced and healthy, whether it's a connection, a love, a proposal of love, a partnership, um, whatever it is that you're trying to attract, it's mutual attraction. So if it is that hotel, it's like you ran into the right place at the right time. Oh my God, sir, thank God you got here because we're almost all booked up. You got here at the perfect, you know what I'm saying? Perfect timing, right? Man, if you wouldn't have got here, you know, it's almost like you're, you know, you're to the point where it's like, oh my gosh, sir, I'm so glad that you called. We only had one rental car left and it just came back. And I'm so glad, you know, you're, I'm so glad you got here. Yeah, the lovers. So meeting at the perfect timing, knowing that the horn blew at the, wow, at the perfect timing. Like I said, some of you might have to self-sacrifice something to get there. Um, but it says, don't be so blocked, right, that you're holding on to old emotions. Don't be so blocked that you believe that things don't happen for you. If things get frustrating, don't let it block you so much, right, where you're not going to allow, thank you, the new world to come in. There you are, right? Don't allow yourself to feel like you've been, you know, the victim or um, things are not working out or I'm the wounded warrior, any type of energy like that. It says walk away from it because you have an accomplishment and this accomplishment is arriving to you because it's on your destined plan. It's where you're supposed to be. It's that perfect timing. You've put in all the effort, you put in all the work and this is what you get in return. Wow. Okay, so... <clears throat> Let's take some love cards over here, having heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I love that. If you're trying to reconcile with someone, it's time now. You know, get the balance done. We can balance out the situation. We can balance out and have this timing coming, right? Give your relationship a chance if that's what it is. For some of you, it's a honeymoon. It's some kind of vacation. It's making the effort, right? But you're guided to take these steps, right, to do so. So let go of any control issues that you're trying to be too guarded about. Let it go. Let it flow. You put it to the universe now. Just make room for it. And that's really what it's saying. Don't try to control the whole situation because it's it's not always what it seems, right? Just kind of let it go. 
you're right where you're supposed to be. Just let it naturally unfold and make room. I love that. Make room. I just keep, I have to keep saying that because it just keeps saying you have to make room for it. And it's all energy more than anything. And yes, this is your soulmate. Wow. So make sure that you are keeping mind and keeping an open mind about, you know, any kind of, um, just the whole situation. I don't, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't even matter if it's love or not. Just the whole situation because that right there again is that no blocking and go with the flow. Hmm. Wow. That is amazing. So let's grab some of these cards over here. <clears throat> See what spirit has to say for you using this deck. I love this deck. It says the weirdest little things and I love them. Yep, you could have this mature person who wants to come into your life, whether it's love, business, partnership, um, job, the person you're talking to you about getting your car done, going on a trip, whoever it is, you have this person, right? And you know that they're there. It doesn't matter if it's male or female. The distant horizon. Now, it's kind of interesting. I said it doesn't matter if it's male or female, but then you've got the, like I said, the love. There's that soulmate connection, the mature woman with the mature man on the distant horizon. So you might even meet this person on a tr on a cruise, on a trip, on a vacation, or they might live at a distance from you and they have to travel. We, we have the chariot. We have the fast movement. They have to get on their horse, get in their chariot, and come towards you. No matter what, it feels like they're coming towards you, my friends, because it's showing it that way. <clears throat> Clarify the lovers. Yeah, boom. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? Yep. Don't be in despair. Get rid of that weird energy. There's that energy again. It's saying, oh my God, you're going backwards. You're in despair. You have anxiety. It's not going to work. It's not going to this. It's not going to that. When's it coming in? Let go. That's that let go of control issues and let it unfold because this is a gift from the universe and they want you to know this is a gift. You did in, you put in all the hard work. Let me do the rest. Wow. And you have great fortune. Just, you know what? Stop imprisoning yourself. That's really what it is. Stop imprisoning yourself. Right? Just let it go. Let it flow. And daily healing message of the day is... Da -da -da. Take responsibility for every thought and feeling. It can affect the whole universe. And what did I say? Oh my God, the whole reading is about that. Letting go of the negative energy. Be aware that your thoughts and feelings are just as impactful as your actions. So it's almost like within your thoughts and actions, you are beating yourself up. And let me just tell you, you are literally beating yourself up because you probably have, you know, butterflies in the stomach, anxiety. I got a headache. I don't feel good. Now I'm depressed. I have this. I have that. Oh my God. Where am I going? I, now I can't sleep. Now I'm tired. I'm not tired because I can't feel tired because I can't sleep. I can't rest. I can't do this. Now I'm tense. I need a massage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anxiety and all that despair and all that stuff imprisons you into a, you know, your own mental ailments, physical ailments, because the mental then becomes, well, the emotional then becomes the mental or the mental then becomes emotional, however, each one, right? But in the end, it all becomes physical. Come on, guys. We all know that. Oh, I can't, I don't feel like getting up right now. I feel kind of lazy, but I have a headache and I can't think. Well, yeah, it's taking a toll on you. And you're probably really tired, too, because you're wasting all that energy, giving it to negative energy. Negative energy just destroys energy, right? So, yes, we're tired and we don't want to get up. That's why people who are depressed only want to lay down and sleep because they need to replenish the energy that they're giving out to the universe. Um, so, okay, so just try to avoid, avoid any harmful influences. Just know it's a gift from the universe. Let it go, guys. It's coming. It's coming, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.